It has been more than two months since students were sent home from school. It means the loss of many traditional rites of passage like prom, sporting events, and even finals. As Q2's Brandon Sullivan reports, seniors now are gearing up for a drastically different graduation than the one they ever once envisioned. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can have your attention, please. We have some unfortunate news to share with you. We have received word from the Montana Department of Health and Human Services that there are now four confirmed cases in Montana. As such, the Montana High School Association has no choice to suspend them in here. Class C boys and girls basketball tournament. I remember going into the game, the boys basketball game, knowing there's no cases in Montana. There's no way they're going to shut this down. And we went through an hour of that game and they had come out saying there's four cases in Montana, we're shutting it down. I directed public K-12 schools to close starting today until March 27th, all across our state. I want to be clear that this decision was not made lightly. I definitely thought that, that there was a possibility schools would maybe close or, or, rela or restrict some things, but I don't think any of us were expecting Friday that day, the 13th, to be it. Today I will be extending the directive to stay at home for an additional two weeks through April 24th. Everybody was kind of, you know, optimistic, like, oh, it's just going to be two weeks and we'll, you know, come back thinking this isn't a very, you know, big ordeal, but it turned out to be something a lot bigger. In Billings School District, two trustees made the unanimous decision tonight to continue with online learning for the rest of the school year. A preliminary plan is in place for high school graduation, but the ceremony may have a drastically different look than what people are used to. I feel like there's a lot of things that I took for granted, like, Seeing my teachers, seeing my friends. One second, they were all there, and then the next, everything was gone. I think a lot of people are mad, and I, I think that's, I just think it, it just happened so suddenly and so quickly that I don't think any of us have really had time to process, and we didn't really know how to because there was just so much unknowns. As parents, we do everything in our power to shield our children from pain and suffering. But no matter how hard we try, inevitably, they're forced to navigate life's challenges on their own. We're living in unprecedented times. And for our children, grasping the idea of not being able to finish out their senior year the way it had always played out in their mind was, in a word, devastating. It's just been so chaotic, thinking of, on the one hand, I'm still trying to, at least, I need to finish school first, but then, you know, that doesn't even seem important right now. Why were we the class chosen to, like, experience this? It's just like, everything that I worked for up to this point has been just completely, like, banished, pretty much. <laughs> I can't hang out with my whole group of friends and all of us as seniors together, which is really hard. I mean, we enjoy being together and this is the moments that we really want to spend the most time together and we can't do that. I've had my fair share of hard times with this and I've, you know, been going through things and just because of what's been going on, not been able to come to school, not been able to see my peers, you know, it's been, it's been definitely hard, that's for sure. But you know, Peyton was one of many Montana athletes to have their high school athletic career cut short. One minute, he and his team are celebrating a berth into the Class AA championship game, only to have the tournament canceled hours later. Students across Montana were losing what was, in their minds, everything they had worked for, everything they had achieved. And yet, through the anger, sadness, and isolation, they found perspective. You graduate high school, high school's a part of life, but you know, I mean, there's a lot of these people you're never gonna see ever again, maybe, you know, and uh, I really realized that, boy, you know, we're, we were sure lucky to, to be at school and, and to, to have all the great experiences that we had. Granted that we got cut short of it, but you know, I just tried to, tried, to, tried to remain positive as best I can and try to, you know, stay in contact with people. And like I said before, though, like that's what really matters to me is just being in contact with those people and trying to, you know, get through this together. I think this is like a perfect time to bounce back and even though we didn't like get the normal um, high school experience for our senior year, I still think that 
this shouldn't slow us down. We should find a way to look past all of this and use it to our advantage, like use it as leverage to bigger things. No one else has this story. So we, in a way, this might sound weird, but we can cherish that. Take my love, take it down. We'll look back and we'll remember this. We'll see that we came out of it. We came out on the other end. And I saw my reflection in a snow-covered hill to the last I think what matters most is seeing my friends again. Just being with my classmates um, is something that I think means more than celebrating our like, accomplishments, even though I, I do still think that's important. But I, I think the connections with people are what is going to carry with us for the rest of our lives, not just like our achievements. Billing Central High School was one of the first schools in the country to announce they would go forward with a physical graduation. Billings Public Schools followed not long after. The 2020 graduation will look much different from in years past, but for these students, it gives them a piece of closure they've worked so hard to achieve. I've gone to school with these kids for, I don't know, 10 years or something, and I think it's just important to end it off with them too. There's a lot of teachers I'll miss. I think, honestly, I'm thankful for the little things in life anymore. I know there's some students that don't have great homes and that this has been even harder than it was for me. I'm thankful for a supportive family and a supportive school district anymore that's willing to go to the ends for our students. It, like I said, just don't don't take things for granted. That's what I've really gotten out of this and, and really, you know, take those little moments and, and hold on to them and live in the moment. This experience has shaped us and we may not realize it right now, but I think we can all use this experience to come out better than we were before, as um, hard as that sounds right now. All right, thank you, Brandon. And just because graduating seniors here in Billings must limit their graduation guests to two, you won't have to miss the ceremonies. We're happy to announce that we'll provide a place to watch their ceremonies live from Metro Park. You can join us Sunday, May 24th throughout the day live on our CW station. Skyview will be at 9 a.m., Senior at 2 p.m., and West High at 7 p.m. We'll also stream the ceremonies live on the Q2 Facebook page.